I started a company called Bagaviv Corporation and we build rockets. This is a rocket launch that we did 18th of April 2015 in Mojave Desert in California. In history, this was the very first rocket that ever flew on 3D printed rocket engines. crashed into the ground, but we're still the first in a history in the world to fly with 3D printed rocket engine. Earth is finite, meaning it has only 12,000 kilometers in diameter. As a scientist, scientists also go either to become smaller, look at electron microscopes into smaller and smaller things, or go larger and larger to understand how life appeared, how universe appeared. I talked to a couple of people, they thought, I'm a little crazy, I'm a little maybe too brave. I just like to look up instead of looking down. I had very good examples. One is Elon Musk with SpaceX. Another one is Scaled Composites, which is now Virgin Galactic. That was first in Mojave Desert to, to do suborbital launch to space with one person and two passengers. Then I thought, if they can do it, I also can do it. I was born in Russia. My father taught me how to make small rockets when I was seven. Since then, I was fascinated to burn everything, learn the rocketry, the chemistry. When I came to America 13 years ago, I still thought maybe I should become astronaut in NASA. And my friends advised me the best way to become astronaut is to become a pilot. So I started as a mechanic for helicopters. Got my citizenship, went to university after college, I found out the easiest way for anybody to go to space is to start your own rocket company. Usually rockets take eight or ten years to make it happen. We want to make it in four. Sometimes do not meet our goals in time, but we're very close. We did one launch that shows that we are a capable team that can make it happen. These things are exciting to me. When I first met Nadir, he showed me videos of what he had going already. I was impressed these motors that can light and put a sonic boom and they're very loud and you get good thrust out of it. That's what happened right away. First I was like, 3D printed rocket, 3D printed motor. But then when I saw it and experienced it and took it apart afterwards and looked at it, I was like, wow, this thing really works. <laughs> the hardest thing is there are no books that tell you how to build rockets using 3D printing. So we have to experiment ourselves. We have to invent new ways of doing this. We do have 3D printed turbine that was quite effective, very small, and 20 horsepower, this little tiny thing. It is pretty incredible. Rocket engines we can test on the ground. So we melted one or two or three rocket engines, then they start working. Well, a couple of issues that we had was no guidance, no balance. So. When we, when we set the rocket up and put it in a way that it can tip. But working with these just enough to get us going, we were able to get it up. It worked and we proved, we made history. I think I get a lot of support because I have a powerful dream and I've been following it for a long time. I spoke to one farmer and said, can I test my rocket engines on your ground? He's like, oh yeah, you're testing rocket engines. I should give you a place and let me watch. This is a little bit of Russia in America for me. Look at this flower field. And this is actually where we're testing. Silicon Valley is an interesting place where most of the money goes to applications, cell phones. They want to find something new. Medical field, nuclear field, rocketry, space. Tim Draper had one speech that I listened to and he talked about his son, Adam Draper, having an accelerator called Boost. I thought I should try that. So I sent them a video of my rocket engines firing. So he invited me for an interview. I brought him an example of my rocket engine, of the satellite. 
He said, build your rocket, here's a little bit of money, we'll take your stock. Wei Gu was one of those investors. He approached us and said, I would like to invest money in your company, help you further your dream. I'm really glad to have him as investor and somebody who is going along with us. I want to say that we will definitely achieve our orbital delivery with what we're making here. Test everything. Everything we touch, we test and test and test. So with that in mind, we're working on reliability, repeatability. The strongest person right now is Elon Musk, and I hope I will crush him one day. Talk to me, say what you want to me, don't leave me wondering. What's in your mind? Walk with me, let all your thoughts go free. Open the lock with me and see what we find. Talk to me, just. I try to also inspire not just America, but the whole world to say, let's aim for space, moon, for stars, instead of sitting here like frogs in a little pond and say, this is our little world and we're never going to leave it.